So hi, hello and welcome again, Microbe Hunter here. Today I'm going to put a strawberry under the microscope and this is what I found. This is the larva of an insect, uh, it's so-called a thrip. Uh, they are known to be insect uh, uh, insects that actually harm a lot of uh, plants, uh, also strawberries. Yeah, but I think I'm going to start now at the, at the very beginning. Well, um, I recently visited a strawberry field uh, and the concept is, is pick your own strawberries. Uh, you pick as many as you want, you pay for them, and you're also allowed to eat the strawberries um, directly from the field. Um, and I, of course, uh, was more interested um, in putting them under the microscope. And so this is basically what I did. So I took one of the strawberries and put it under my stereo microscope. Of course, you can see the seeds, quite large. Um, and then all of a sudden, I saw some movement. <laughs> and look at this here, a little tiny insect trying to hide um, behind uh, the seed of the strawberry. Um, what in the world is that? Um, so I kept on checking the next strawberry and I found those little um, insects on pretty much every strawberry that I put under the microscope. I didn't even have to look very hard for them. And with a little bit of research, I discovered that this is actually the larva of a so-called a thrip. Uh, these are known um, yeah, insects that are actually able to do harm um, to, uh, to agriculture. Um, so certain strawberry fields, actually they've lost some of the harvest uh, because uh, they have had too many of those uh, those pests. I decided to pick it up um, and transfer it on a microscope slide to have a closer look at them. Um, I used a little bit of cooking oil, vegetable oil, um, because water would uh, ha have uh, too much of a high of a surface tension and I had real problems picking up picking it up with water. So I tried it with oil, much more successful. And here you can see this little larva you know, drag along a little uh, oil droplet. Um, uh, as well. Those uh, thrips um, essentially uh, will now undergo metamorphosis. This means they will change into an adult um, with wings, obviously, because uh, they have, uh, the thrips have wings, um, and then they will mate, and then they will again lay eggs, um, and then, of course, the life cycle is completed. Those insects can do um, damage uh, to harvests because uh, they will suck uh, the, the liquid, the sap um, of the fruits, So, and this can actually um, not only harm the fruit directly, but um, they are also known to transfer so-called plant viruses. Yes, uh, there are also plant diseases <laughs> that are transferred uh, yeah by caused by viruses um, and this has actually lost uh, all uh, resulted already in the loss of uh, certain harvests uh, um, as well and now you're probably going to wonder does this actually mean that when I eat strawberries uh, that uh, I'm eating those insects as well are you really trying to tell me that and the answer short short answer is of course I mean, of course, uh, we eat those insects when we eat fruits. And as a matter of fact, I'm not even worried about that. Um, because uh, having insects and other animals on the food that we eat actually is a sign um, or could be an indicator that maybe, or at least that's what I hope, um, they have not been treated with pesticides. So yeah, otherwise I would not be <laughs> eating the strawberry directly uh, from the field anyway without washing. So I'm not really worried about those insects. Um, I'm probably more worried about the stuff that we spray on the fields uh, to kind of uh, keep them um, away. And it actually shows that um, yeah, even though there are those uh, pests on the on the strawberries uh, yeah the farmer is still doing a pretty good business here because the strawberries still looked very nice so if you kind of keep them in control and if you ensure somehow um, that they do not um, yeah the population does not explode too much then um, we can see that um, actually um, it's 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 fine so yes uh, the name of this little insect is called franklin yella franklin yella franklin yella I guess must have been named according to someone with the name of Franklin. Yeah, um, it's uh, not uncommon to give uh, insects or generally any type of, of um, yeah, or organism uh, the name um, of a person in honor. Um, but you know what? I did not research who Mr. or Mrs. Franklin was. Um, yeah, you do that research uh, for me, and then of course you can post it in the comments below. Um, I just wanted to share this with you. I think it's kind of fascinating to see what is in, around in our immediate environment. I'm going to leave it at that uh, for today. I wish you all the best. Happy microbe hunting as always and see you around next time. Bye bye.